Welcome back to Aqua Mermaid channel. Today I will share my tips and tricks for mermaid drive events. This video is really for you to learn everything what's happening behind the scene of preparing an event, being on the set and having a lot of fun and making sure your customer and all the guests are happy. And today I have a special event I want to share with you. I'm going for a fundraising for the Dental Association in Ottawa. Then follow me inside and see what's happening tonight. To start, always show up early. It's really important because you want the time to make sure that you can set up all your equipment and also you can get changed and be ready before the guests arrive. Then always make sure to have the contact, phone number and name of the person responsible of you on location because I know sometimes it's really hard to find them. When you arrive, make sure to put all your stuff um, in a suitcase because it's really heavy to carry a mermaid tail, especially a silicone one, plus all your props. Also, when you find uh, the location, the venue, make a little walk around just to know what's happening, uh, where are the different things. Uh, start to sit up as soon as possible. I have a giant seashell or a giant clam that I love to use. It's super easy. Uh, it has a little motor inside and it inf inflates uh, automatically. Then mainly I just need to plug it in, uh, bring a a power cord extension because you never know if you will be close to a plug it but plug it in it takes about two minutes to inflate and then you're ready <clears throat> also what i'm making sure to bring with me i found this little plastic block that is white it's perfect for me i can sit on it uh, and it just looks beautiful with the big clam uh, interesting also some people use other kinds of seashell, some like pool toy that you can inflate. I prefer mine because uh, if there is anything, a little hole in it, it's always inflating and it will look perfectly. If you have a little hole in a pool toy, it just it will collapse and won't look good. Um, the only thing that mine I don't like that much is that because there's this motor like blowing air in it, there's always a little noise. But if you put music, you won't hear it and there is no problem. Then when uh, your seashell is inflated, you put your seat inside, you can put lights in it. Uh, that's really a really nice feature if you do events at night, then mainly I just screw uh, inside um, the, the, the light bulb. I make sure to screw them be, uh, after it's inflated because I don't want to, them to be uh, crushed on the floor or uh, we hit them. Then when it's inflated, they will just be floating inside. Also, as you can see, I have a little remote control uh, that I can change the color, that's super cool. But I don't know why that night it was not working. Maybe it's batteries or uh, I don't know, but the color were looking nice, uh, but something, sometimes things happen. Uh, you need to be smart to find a place where you can get changed. It needs to be a place where you can hide, but also that you're not too far from your setup because you will need to get there without walking, without legs. Um, to help you, uh, if you have a friend or someone there that can carry you, that's amazing. If not, sometimes they have a wheelchair that you can use, they can just wheel you back to your, your big uh, seashell. Um, or if not, you can just slowly uh, go on your bum uh, and move back to your seat. Yeah, sometimes when your all your setup is ready, sometimes you need to wait. Uh, I'll bring some water bottles and snacks, um, anything to just wait, relax before the big event starts. Also, I like to go around, walk and see um, what is the place, what's the venue. Uh, sometimes there's a little rehearsal before the show, then you can see a little sneak peek that you won't be able to see because you will be performing. And the decorations are always beautiful. Uh, uh, before. When it's time, you get ready to get changed. Make sure you keep a lot of time for you, especially before putting your mermaid tail on, go to the washroom, put your top on. My, my top is also in silicone, then you want to be ready with it when you put your mermaid tail on. Uh, what I will recommend is to tie your hair when you put it on because it, it, the silicone stick to everything and you don't want to get your hair stuck in it and it could just hurt. You can ask someone to help you. Sometimes it gets glued or stuck in your back. Then it's always uh, good to have someone to help you uh, and then you can go and put your mermaid tail on. Practice and measure how much time it takes to get changed. I would recommend to have between 20 and 15 minutes at least to get changed and go back to your seat uh, to be ready. 
Then when you find a little spot that you can hide and change, put the bikini bottom that is as small as possible under your mermaid tail. It will be harder to pull it up. Then I start with using oil. I put oil on my legs, body oil, um, on my legs and on the bottom of my stomach. And then sit on the floor, push down your tail as small as possible. That way you can put one feet first um, and then you need to put your feet inside the strap. Mine are or straps that you cannot adjust and you really need to push your feet as far as possible inside and just pull it, uh, pull the strap behind your ankle. The first one is not too bad, then you can start with the first leg. Uh, what gets tricky is to put the second leg uh, because your legs are really tight in it. And then um, always think which leg you put first uh, on which side because after that you will be able to use your stronger hand, I'm a right-handed, to help uh, put my, my arm inside between my two legs, reach out inside the tail and pull. It's not easy, I know, and it may take a while. Um, something I found that really helps is pushing your feet far. Uh, a lot of a lot of time at the beginning, I was not pushing my feet um, as far far enough inside the fin, and that was hard to pull the the strap behind my ankle. But if you really push down and you go slowly, put your hand inside and pull uh, on the strap. Um, you should be able to get it. Uh, if, if it's too hard, just take a break, take a little br uh, breath and uh, continue. You can add little straps to pull on them. Uh, that goes maybe up to your knees and it's easier. After you can start pulling up slowly, really slowly because you want to bring it up um, all around your body at the same pace. Uh, then just take little parts of it and pull it up on your front, your back, your side. Uh, and just pull it up slowly like this, going all around your body. When you're, you go, uh, it's up to your mid thighs, close to your waist, this is becoming a bit tricky because uh, if you have uh, hips, uh, it's, it's bigger than your waist and you need to pass it over. Um, this is a tricky part because you don't want to tear your, your tail, uh, especially the side on the seam on the side. And I have saw some tails uh, that broke um, then really go slowly, a uh, little tiny bit by tiny bit, um, and maybe you can ask someone to help you to bring it up slowly. Uh, if you feel it's not um, sliding on your body, uh, you can add a little bit more oil. And that, that took me about eight minutes on that day to put it on. Uh, and I was, uh, um, I was sweating at the end, then it's really important um, that you uh, have some time before because you don't want to get rushed and panic that you're not able to get into your tail on time. Uh, then I prefer to put it before and just rest in it and wait uh, than being too rushed to put it on. When you put your mermaid tail on, make sure to have short nail because you don't want to cut or tear your beautiful tail. Done. <laughs> Something that I want to let you know too is that silicone is not a breathable material. That means uh, you will get sweaty inside your tail. And that can be good if it's really cold outside. If you're in a really big hall and it's not super hot, you will feel warm even if you have just a little top uh, in a mermaid tail. But when it's hot and there's a lot of people, uh, yeah, sometimes I just see uh, a few drops of sweat uh, coming on my back and that's why I keep always a little towel beside me just to remove it uh, to always look fresh and nice and also keep a glass of water or wa a bottle of water not too far. When you have your mermaid tail on, uh, now it's time to move around and go back to, to your seashell. When the party starts, uh, performing is really important. Uh, always ask the event manager what they are expecting, which, uh, who's coming. That way you can prepare to make sure you deliver what they were expecting. Um, smile is a must. You always need to smile. Mermaids are always happy and ma are a magical creature. Uh, what I notice sometimes, um, people are shy to come, especially at the beginning when they're the first one, then really make sure to invite people to come uh, close to you. Invite them to come and take photos, chat with them, uh, be genuine, really have fun. Uh, a lot of time I see some, some performer, they are just 
there looking pretty, but I don't just want to be a statue and look pretty. I want to interact with people. I want to joke, have fun, ask them what's their mermaid name, and um, yeah, make, you can create yourself a story, which kind of mermaid from which ocean are you and just have fun with it and people are, are really curious about entrepreneurs uh, who start their mermaid business and you can just chat about what people come and ask them questions um, even if it's a long shift uh, I, what I like to do is kind of uh, move my body uh, with the music move my arms, make some nice uh, choreographies with my arms flowy and also especially on that night uh, there was other performers, there was a cheerleading team there and they were kind of just walking around waving at people and they saw that everyone was coming toward the mermaids and they just come, uh, came and stand beside me and that was amazing and they were like all asking questions how does it swim, how does it work, uh, you're beautiful and then that was amazing because I had my frame and uh, like all my friends of mer uh, cheerleaders beside me and that brought even more people to, to see the mermaids and take photos um, something I will also recommend, people ask a lot of questions uh, and sometimes they, they want your contact info. You can have uh, a few flyers or business card beside you and if people ask you questions, you can just give one to them and follow up because it's not the time right now to start selling other mermaid parties or other events, but it's the time for you to shine and if they want your contact, you can just give it to them quickly uh, and take a photo with them and uh, have fun. Thank you for watching, I hope you like it. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. And I'm working on a new video coming soon about how professional mermaids make money. See you soon!